everyone. Welcome to Marta Puppet Wedding. I'm your host, Marta Puppet. And I tell you what, I'm really excited about today's show. Today we are creating delectable creations in our kitchen. So good that it's master chef worthy. Alright, let's bring in our collection of delicious dishes. Okay, any day now. Oh right, sorry. Here it is, Martha Poopert. Thank you, assistant. Oh, excuse me. I uh, think I need to go for a potty break. I recently was potty trained. I will... No. Oh, I'm okay, I'm okay. A short break and I'll be right back. Assistant, perhaps you can start with the first recipe? Okay, gotta go. Yes, this is the opportunity I've been waiting for a lifetime. I've been waiting to take over Martha Poopert's show. So many brands created uh, something similar to Miniverse. What are we doing in today's show? We are doing two things. We are making these mini brands creates. They are tiny little recipes, just like Miniverse, and we will be comparing them to the Miniverse Cafe Series 3. Oh, excuse me, pardon me, audience, uh, for the intrusion. That uh, bathroom break is over, and uh, I was successful uh, in my potty training, uh, so there's no worries. All right, uh, now we can start with the first recipe. Oh, bummer, I actually thought I had a chance. Oh, but that's absolutely okay, I don't have any problems sharing my show. Uh, how about you start with the first recipe, uh, assistant? I don't mind sitting here and watching the creations you make. Well, okay. Don't mind if I do. All right, so here's our bags. What are we getting inside here? Oh, this thing is heavy. Ah, first clue. Oh, a dirty chef's hat. Uh, but that's besides the point. Looks like we are working with resin and we have a chef's hat that is a little curing lamp. Cute. All right, so this is looking more like Miniverse by the minute. Let's uh, leave this right here with Martha. Oh my, that hat needs washing. Yeah, don't worry about that, Martha. Here's our first bag. What are we getting inside here? Oh, notice any similarities? Let's see, we've got our tiny little utensils. Let's put those right here as well. Oh, we have a little knife, a stand of some sort. Let's put this together. It's like working with Legos. We also have a little package like you can find in the stores. I think that might be mint. And we have some potato chunks. Let's leave that there for now. Let's try the next bag. Oh, very much like Miniverse. We've got the little tops to our resin bottles. What is our resin? That is our finishing glaze. And we have another piece in here, tomato reduction. Oh, and we're missing another top piece for the other bottle. In here, we've got some square pieces. I don't know what this is, but it looks like we've got a little chef's hat on here. And this is maybe like a placemat and some instructions. Oh, and a collector's guide. Let's see what we're working with. Wow, that food looks so yummy. I think what we have is this over here. Stuffed pork loin and roast potatoes. So that was potatoes. And then we have the instructions, of course. Oh, oh what just popped out of there? Aha, uh -huh, look at our little tongs. Do, do, do. The Master Chef tongs have a little thingy at the end, and the mini-verse ones are back here. Let's go in Martha's little drawer. Here are the mini-verse ones. And what popped out was our pork loin. Let's take a look inside. There it is. <laughs> it's very detailed. Oh, and you know what I noticed? The difference with these collector's guides is that the ingredients on there is specific to that one dish that you have. Whereas with Miniverse, you have the directions for all of the possible items you can get in that series. And what else fell out is a dish. So let's go ahead and go down here and start making our food. Step one is taking one pork loin. Let's put it on the plate. Then we're gonna take our potatoes and put those on the side. 
Now it's time to add the tomato reduction. Oh, we've got the foil on here. Let's see if this is any easier to remove than Miniverse. Okay, no problems yet. And let's add this top to it. Oh, already there's a fail. So I knew the top wasn't going on right. I kept on twisting it and it didn't end. It just kept on twisting and twisting and twisting. So now while I'm pushing the resin out, the whole top was about to pop out. So you have to be careful with that if you decide to try this at home. Here you go, all pretty. At this point, we can take our little chef's hat, turn it on and cure. We are supposed to cure for five to 10 minutes if you're using the little chef's hat, but if you're using sunlight, it'll take 10 to 20 minutes. Okay, it's been about six minutes. Let's switch that thing off. And now we can add our glaze. Hopefully this one doesn't pop off on us. Something like this, just a little bit. And then we can cure again. And here it is. It's all cured and ready. All right, Martha, how do we do? Oh, how delightful. And it smells spectacular. You did an excellent job. Let's start with the next one. To keep your memory fresh, let's go ahead and compare the two. We'll do the Miniverse Cafe Series 3 next. There's also a brand new Movie Snack Series 2, I think. Let's go ahead and check these out. We have nuts. Feels like crushed peanuts. Mm -hmm. It's Bear Pop. Oh, what are we making? And we've got chocolate dip. Oh, this looks fun. Here is, oh, some place to put the ice cream on. We're getting ice cream. Do we get two ice creams? And our last bag is the other bear pop. So with Miniverse, like I was saying, oh, this looks so good. It's Blue Raz Snow Cones. So it's cafe series, but we're making a whole bunch of things that I don't think I've seen in cafes before. There's one bear pop. You can see the little bear face. And these go on here like this so we can display them and dunk them inside your chocolate sauce. All the way in, just like that. Let's grab these and try this with the tongs. Now with the Miniverse, you don't get a little curing lamp unless you have the kitchen that has the oven because the little oven opens up and that's your curing lamp in there. You press the button and it cures your goodies. So I do like the fact that we get a little chef's hat curing lamp with the Zuru mini brands create ones. I'm gonna take our little bear here for now. And these little bears are posing a little bit of a complication for me. Ah! So what I'm gonna do is I'm going to use the uh, Zuru Master Chef curing lamp hat. Yes, I'm cheating. I'm using the other brand stuff. And I'm gonna cure this because I want to double dip. And then I'm gonna take some more of the resin, making sure I keep the resin bottle out of the way so it doesn't cure the resin inside of the chocolate syrup bottle. Then I'll go ahead and once this is cured a little bit, I'll dunk it one more time. And maybe I'll get a more chocolatey looking bear bar. Well. Not so much. Looks like the resin is just gonna go that far. It's not that thick and it's supposed to look like this. Now let's get the nuts on the bottom half of the ice cream. Oop, it's going everywhere. All right, that's supposed to be how it goes. Now let's cure this and then we'll start with the next one. And here's our popsicles. Let's get them right over here for Martha to try out. I do love popsicles. They're absolutely delicious. Now let's create some more Master Chef creations. Let me just try these out a little bit. Oh, it's just divine. Martha Purport, can I get your autograph? I'm your biggest fan. Oh, uh, who let you in on the set? A security? Oh, uh, no, no need for security. I don't want to lose my job. I love working at UPS. Okay, thanks, bye. Are we making anything new? I think so. We didn't get this kind of stand before. And something else fell out. Sliced almonds. Whoa, we have tiny sliced almonds. They kind of look like sesame seeds. And we are getting some strawberries and some shoe pastry. Oh, this one's heavy. 
and a spoon. What is in here? Oh, these look so cute and tasty at the same time. I love the detail on them. We are making that thing. Chocolate profiteroles. Let's get our profiteroles on here. No wonder it's a master chef creation. Oh, and the glaze or the cream is kind of like translucent. On the collector's guide, it shows it as being like a almost white glue looking cream. And then we'll add our strawberries. We have one whole one and two slices. And now it's time to cure it for five to 10 minutes. Now let's add the chocolate sauce. We'll do a little bit on all of them and maybe a little bit in between for the strawberries to stick. Oh yeah, and we wanna add our little garnish right here. So I'll put that somewhere where we've got a little bit of that chocolate sauce. And then we'll sprinkle on some of that sliced almond. And you know the next step, we get to cure. And here it is, it's all done. Oh. But what's wrong, Martha Pooper? Oh, oh, apologies. It seems to be uh, my nap time. Oh, okay. Well, here's our next creation. Oh, it just looks so amazing. All it needs is a spoon. What are we creating next? Let's find out. First bag, a plate, our serving tray, and some fruit. We have kiwis, blueberries, and some raspberries. Oh, and some strawberries. Here we have some whipped cream and syrup. And our last bag, we're getting this tray, a cake server, and looks like we're getting a tart base with a fork. Let's get our tart out. Ah, we've got two. First step, and actually the moment of truth, will we get dollops of cream or are we getting something else entirely? Oh, that's cute. We actually have a real whipped cream dispenser up top. So does that mean our whipped cream is gonna be looking like actual whipped cream? So here's what we're supposed to do. We're gonna get the whipped cream in here. Oh, that is neat. Look at that. We actually get whipped cream. That is really cool looking. Now let's try the next one and do a little better. I'm actually gonna try to get it all the way around inside the tart. Oh, I actually really like that. Now I'll add the fruit. And then we get to add some syrup. And now we can cure. And Viola, we have our next creation. This was the summer fruit tart. Oh, how many of these do we have exactly? It's almost time for my party. I mean, uh, it's uh, almost the end of the show. I knew it. Martha Pooper was making us cook all the food for her party. I most certainly was not. <laughs> our next ball. We have some chocolate mousse and some raspberry jam. And we are getting some chocolate rolled oats. And then in here we are getting some raspberries. I think we're making vegan chocolate mousse with raspberries and almond crumb. First, let's get our raspberries in there. Placement doesn't matter because we are going to be dousing it in chocolate syrup. And this should be the same consistency as the white whipped cream. Oh, yep, let's just get that all over. Then we'll add the rolled oats. I think we should have had more rolled oats because we're going to add more of the whipped topping on here and I don't think those rolled oats will be showing up after that. Let's swirl it around a little bit, try to give it some structure. We'll add our little raspberry on the top and our chocolate along with our raspberry jam. And let's not forget to garnish it. Now we can cure. Yes, yes, keep them coming. My audience loves all these delicious treats. Besides here for us, only on Martha Cooper Driven. Am I getting paid for this? I can continue. All right, keep them coming. Here we go, we've got whipped cream. Could this possibly be our first duplicate? Strawberries, looking mighty familiar. Oh, oh, we've got more strawberries? How many strawberries could you possibly need? Oh, I think it's not a duplicate. 
There is a recipe in here that requires a lot of strawberries. So here are some, oh, this is so cute. Look how detailed that is. I love the little plate. So this is not a duplicate. We've got a ton of stuff in here. A little plate because we're gonna need a cake slice, a cake picker upper, and in here we have sponge cake base. Ah, we've got two pieces. Is it gonna be a layered cake? Turns out we're making some strawberry cake. You see, this part is where we need those little mini-verse dollops because they're so pretty and already formed and I can't get them to look exactly that perfect with these Zuru mini brands create. But I'll try. And then we'll add some strawberries. We'll use our flat strawberries in this container. Then we'll add a big dollop in the middle just like that because we're going to smush our second layer on the top and then smooth another flat layer of cream on there now we'll need to make six tiny pretty dollops which I don't think I'm gonna be able to do but we'll try And now it's time to cure it. This one will cure for 20 minutes. And here's a whole bunch of wonderful cake. I'll just leave that right there and move on to our very last creation. Here's what we're making next. Uh, it's a different one. It's chocolate cake base. This time we're making some chocolate cake. Let's see what that looks like. Are we getting two pieces, one piece? What is it? Two layers. We're making another two layered cake. We've got all these cherries. Are we getting some more whipped cream? Yep. And something tinier. What is this? Sprinkles. We get little star sprinkles. That is so cute. Oh, we are making this delicious chocolate cake. Cherry chocolate cake. That looks so yummy. I hope we can make it as pretty as it looks on here. Then for our cherries, we have cherry halves and whole cherries. So we're going to use our cherry halves for this part. Now we'll add a bigger dollop in the center and this will secure our next layer of cake. It'll glue it together. And on top of this layer, we're gonna add our chocolate sauce and just spread it out like this. Now I'll add our sprinkles and then I'll cure this before I move on to my next step. Now we'll add our extra little dollops on the top Oh no, we don't have enough cherries for the rest of the cake. I guess too many dollops was not a good idea. We have these cherry halves, but that's not the same. All right, Martha, I've got you your second cake. Excellent, but the festivities begin. Hey, I thought you said you weren't having a party. Dad, well, look at the time. It's the end of our show. Thank you for tuning in to Martha Pooper's Living. Uh, uh, now excuse me while I start my fabulous dinner party with all of these treats. Well, looks like Martha Pooper tricked us. Anyways, the takeaway I took from the new Mini Brands Create Little Foods is that it's very similar to Miniverse, but I will say that no matter how long you put these in any type of curing machine or under the lamp or anything, 20 minutes, 40 minutes, however long you put it, this whipped cream does not cure. It's still soft and gooey and your cake still moves around. So maybe they'll work on that later. I have no idea, but your cakes will still be mushy, gushy, and they can fall apart. But other than that, it was really fun creating all these cute little cakes and all these cute little desserts. I hope you have an awesome day and I'll see you next time. Bye for now.